The well is initially drilled to a designated distance below the deepest fresh water source near the surface. The pipe and bit are then removed and surface casing is inserted into the hole. The casing is then secured into place by pumping cement through the casing and through the shoe at the bottom of the hole. The cement barrier and steel casing prevent any contamination of freshwater aquifers. Once the casing cement has set, drilling of the intermediate section of the hole continues by drilling through the wiper plug, shoe and cement at the bottom of the well bore and on toward the targeted zones. Once total depth is reached, the drill pipe and bit are removed from the well bore one last time. Next, a login tool is lowered to the bottom of the well on a wire line. As the tool is pulled back up the entire length of the well, data is gathered to create an electric log. Once the well has been logged and deemed a commercial well, production casing is then inserted. As with the surface and intermediate casing, the production casing is also cemented into the hole. Back on the surface, the drilling rig is no longer needed. A temporary wellhead is installed and the location is prepared for the surface crews, who will ready the well for production. The first of these steps is to perforate or perf the casing. A perforating gun is lowered by wireline to the lowest of the three target zones. An electrical current is sent down the wireline to the perf gun, setting off a charge which shoots through the holes of the steel casing, cement, and at a short distance, into the target formation. The perf gun is then pulled out of the hole. The next step is to hydraulically fracture or frack the zone. Here, sand or other propens are pumped into the well bore under extremely high pressure. When the mixture reaches the target zone, the pressure forces it out through the perf holes and out into the sandstone formation, causing it to fracture. This creates a fairway, connecting the reservoir to the well, inducing the released gas to flow to the wellbore.